Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to tell you guys how to install the ESC onto your drone frame and I will actually solder these motor wires onto this ESC and then power this ESC from my flight controller and then power my flight controller from the battery. So this is what I'm going to do in this video guys. So if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Also guys, I've already done the unboxing and a detailed review of this flight controller and this motor control unit or ESC. If you have not seen those videos guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started before we start with the soldering each and every components let me walk you through the design and what is my plan and how i am going to do the cable management on my drone so here you have the esc guys as you know from my review videos every esc comes marked with the motor number so m1 m2 m3 m4 depending upon the orientation of your drone frame guys so your right side motors from the front is your m1 m2 m3 and m4 and this is how i'm going to connect here as well so here you can see m1 m2 m3 m4 here on my esc stack when i'm going to place this stack like this here on here on the back side of my drone frame guys this one will be m1 this one will be m2 this one will be m3 and this one will be m4 so this motor guys which is the uh, backside motor on the right side of my drone frame is going to go here on m1 and then front side m2 same here the back side m3 and the front side m4 so this is how i'm going to solder the wires here on my esc as you see guys there is an output jack pin which gets the control signal from my flight controller guys so here is the jumper pin wire which i have already put inside for the wire and cable management so this jumper wire connection guys goes from the back onto the front from this hole and then from this hole this wire is coming out which is going to be connected on to the top side stack of my flight controller v bat to v bat ground to ground current to current s1 to s4 s1 s2 s3 s4 to for my motor m1 m2 m3 m4 and then uh, you have a telemetry output from this esc which is going to go in rx5 pin as explained in detail in my review video of my esc so guys ensure that you have watched that video so that you understand the wiring diagram how i'm going to connect this also guys on the bottom side frame of my esc as I have told you before, I have an ESC power supply guys here, ESC plus and ESC minus, which I am going to connect to my ESC power input of plus and minus here. And then I'm going to power this flight controller power distribution board using the wire, which came along with the ESC red to battery plus and black to battery minus like this here and then this battery junction will be coming out from the front side and my battery will be placed on the top side stack whenever i close this drone frame so this is it guys this is my plan on soldering all the wires here on my drone frame now let's get started with the soldering and attach each of these components so guys before we can uh, start joining the wires from the motors let's start tinning this esc so guys let's put some of the soldering wire on each of these pads let's put it enough so that whenever you connect the wire it directly gets attached so let's make that little more solder than required on each of these pads like this ensure that guys your soldering iron is hot enough otherwise you will damage your board by overheating and also guys let's uh, put some tinning here on the power pads on the both sides as you will be powering this ESC from the flight controller itself guys so it requires to be connected through tinning and also guys you need to install a capacitor for the WAC EMF which came along with this ESC so you need to tin this first put enough solder guys so that it is thick enough holding the wire as well as holding the capacitor let's do it from the other side as well So here you can see guys, I have already done the tinning on both sides from power pads and the soldering pads for the motor connection. Now let's quickly go and connect the motor wires onto this ESCs. 
so guys before starting to solder the motor wires onto this ESC guys we need to connect the power wires the power wire that came along with this ESC guys I am going to use it to power my flight controller from my flight controller guys as I told you I have a connection to this ESC which I am going to connect but I do not want to cut this wires this is 12 AWG wire guys so this is thick wire which is required to connect such high power or high rating ESC so guys as per my research from the internet it says that that my 20 AWG wire that I have here spare with me 320 AWG wire is equal to around 11 AWG wire which is more or less equal to 12 AWG wire so guys I'm going to use three of them to power each pad and then connect each three of them to my power board on the flight controller guys to this ESC plus and ESC minus all three together so this is also something really nice guys because I will have enough length and since I am going to twist it guys it is easy and more flexible to work with so let's quickly connect this and come back so guys as you can see I have soldered all three wires onto positive terminal and all three black wires onto the negative terminal so now all three wires combined together will become 11 AWG which I'm going to connect it to my ESC and the same way I'm going to connect the ground onto my ESC. In addition to that guys I have also uh, soldered this capacitor that came along with this. This is 470 microfarad 35 volt capacitor. So here you can see guys there is a negative terminal mark here. So I have connected this to the negative terminal which is the black wire guys and the other one onto the positive terminal in parallel where my wires were connected. So this is super important guys whenever you connect this capacitor on the your ESC ensure that guys your terminals are correctly marked and negative goes to negative and positive goes to positive. Otherwise whenever you power this ESC this capacitor will short off and you could damage your electrical circuit or even might at time blast so ensure that guys uh, the terminal of the capacitors are properly connected so now guys my ESC is ready to get the motor wires soldered so guys I have placed my ESC onto my drone so here is my motor number guys so this one is M1 this one is M2 this one is M3 and M4 so the same sequence guys M1 M2 M3 and M4 I'm going to solder these wires which I have already peeled off and pre-tinned. I have put some solder on the tips of these wires so that I can put it directly here with the help of the tweezer guys because it is going to get real hot when I'm going to use the soldering iron guys. So ensure that guys you have some of the tweezers so as to hold these wires. It doesn't matter guys in which sequence you put these wires onto these three pads guys but so as to make it look nice guys here I'm going to follow red, green and black, red, green and black, red, green and black, red, green and black. So this is the sequence I'm going to follow. So it doesn't matter guys in which sequence you solder. I am just doing it because I want to do it. So let's get started and start soldering each of these wires. Ensure that guys you twist all these wires and bunch them together like I have done so that your wiring stays neat inside the drone. So let's get started with soldering each of these wires. So let's start soldering the red wire here like this and I'm going to hold it by tweezer and I'm going to make an angle where it gets placed like this and then I'm going to heat it and I'm going to place it like this. So it's going to stick here. So let's do that quickly. So red, then I'm going to place green, and black. Ensure that guys at the time of soldering you do not short the pads whenever you connect the wiring guys so as to ensure that whenever you power this up it does not get damaged. So this is super important guys. Let's solder all of the wires and I'm going to come back. So as you can see guys I have correctly soldered all the wires in the sequence that I wanted red green and black red green and black red green and black red green and black. So this is just for the sake as I told you guys uh, because it looks 
nice and more organized which is why i have done it guys you can do it in any sequence so this is how you solder your flight controller onto the motors now i'm going to place pack my flight controller stack on top of this four screw heads that is coming out and it's going to insert on this holes with the vibration pad which we have installed already like this on the top and i'm going to push down guys uh, but before that i'm going to organize the wires from the inside so that all the wires comes from between these two uh, heads that are there so i wanted to organize the wires like this so i'm going to organize this and come back quickly so guys as you can see my stack has already been placed onto the four screws that i have installed here onto the back side of my drone guys all the wires from the motors are properly aligned here going on to the back side as you can see from the sides guys these are the wires of the motor which are coming in all, all the way to the front as you can see guys this is the motor control wires which are going on to the back all the way to the back you can see it is coming at the bottom of this led driver and then going back onto the front which is coming out on the sides same with the gps wires as well so when i'm going to push this stack all the way down guys uh, these wires are going to be from the sides onto the top and then we'll be able to connect it to the flight controller which is going to be placed here guys so this is how my cable management goes guys so here you can see the black and the red wires are coming out uh, from the esc which is going to be connected to the esc plus and esc minus of my flight controller guys before i can connect the plus and minus guys i would like to connect the power wire on to this esc let's do that quickly so guys this is my power distribution board of my flight controller guys uh, here are the pads for battery esc plus esc minus and the ground for the battery guys let's do the tuning first as usual before connecting any wires let's do some tinning and put some solder onto these pads so that whenever we join the wires it gets joined quickly so let's start from here let's put enough solder guys so that whenever you put in the wire guys it stays at its place esc plus i'm going to put some more on esc plus guys as i am going to put three wires here which will require a lot of solder same i'm going to do with esc minus i'm going to put some more solder just so that i have enough solder there to be able to connect three wires here is battery plus so let me rotate it out a little bit and then put some solder here so here guys uh, all my pads for the power control are properly tinned now let's connect this uh, power cable since my power cable is going to be placed like this uh, so battery plus here and minus here and it's going all the way to the back i'm going to solder in in the same fashion just like this so as you can see guys uh, whenever this wire came along with the esc guys it was already pre-tinned so that was something really nice let me put this here like this So it got soldered let's do the same thing on to battery minus all the way from the other side just like this let's put some heat So the wires get really hot guys so ensure that you hold it at its place till it is uh, all solid otherwise it will move and it will be difficult to solder again so here you see guys my both the battery plus and battery minus are now soldered properly onto my esc base power supply board so now all we need to do is to solder those three wires coming out of my esc on to this esc plus and esc minus let's do that quickly as well so here you can see guys i have already soldered the wires the black wires which were coming from your esc onto my esc minus 
and also guys i have soldered the red wire coming from my esc onto my esc plus so guys now the power connection from my flight controller to my esc is complete also guys as you can see i have pushed my stack all the way down here you have some more space here i'm going to install my vtx or my video transmitter guys as i was telling you guys using three wires to join this esc to my flight controller was a good idea you can see guys there is some flexibility in the wire and at the same time it maintains the more or less equal wire gauge which was required to transmit that kind of power using three wires it is capable enough to carry that kind of current and also guys i have installed a capacitor between the power supply cable which was attached to my flight controller this is also 470 microfarad 35 volt since i am going to power it using 4s battery guys this capacitor is enough so this is how i have already connected my flight controller base power supply board and my ESC and then ESC is connected now to all the motors and the motor control wires are coming all the way from the back here under the top when I'm going to install this top side board here on the top of this ESC guys I'm going to solder this up I have already done the complete wiring diagram and I have also given the overview guys on how to connect and where to connect onto my flight controller guys so guys now let us quickly connect the ESC wires onto this flight controller so first let's connect the ground battery and current sensors here these three pads which is going to be red uh, is going to be VBAT black is going to be ground and this blue wires is going to be the current sensor guys so let's connect them quickly so these are the three pads here onto the top so let's quickly thin them and then let's connect these wires onto those pads. So as you can see guys, I have correctly thinned them. Let's quickly install them. So let's install the ground first. this way so let's put the ground so you can see ground is connected now let's put the V bat it's going to be like this that is connected as well and then you have the blue wires this is the correct wire for the current sensor so let's quickly install the correct current sensor onto this flight controller like this So guys I have successfully connected all those pins here now guys I have to connect S1 and S2 S1 being the white wire and S2 being yellow so let's quickly pin the S1 and S2 these are for the motor signal guys so this is how you connect the motors and then I'm going to connect it to RX5 the ESC telemetry and then you have motor signal S3 and S4 so let's quickly do that S3 and S4 as well So as you can see guys I have correctly tinted all of them so let's start with M1 and M2 M1 being the white wire so let's connect the white wire first going on to S1 let me connect that quickly like this So 
so S1 is connected S2 being the yellow wire so as you can see S1 and S2 is connected here guys now let's connect the telemetry pin on RX5 this is going to be the blue one So the blue wire is connected as well so what else is left is orange being m3 so this is the orange wire so it is going to go on to s3 right here and then the green wire being s4 let's connect that too quickly just like this So this is it guys, all the wires for my ESC is now connected, my telemetry is also connected, all four motor wires and the power in the current sensors along with the ground is now connected to my flight controller guys. So this is how you connect your ESC onto your flight controller. So this concludes this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.